In this part, So Ra, who is borrowing Jong Min's mobile phone, looks so surprised when she found a video recorded by Jong Min during his mother's birthday celebration, and Jong Min finally couldn't deny that Jong Sook was his mother. So Ra, who learnt the truth, was both shocked and angry that Jong Min hid the fact from her, his girlfriend. Meanwhile, Jong Sook decides to confirm to everyone that In Ho is her husband and invites them to sing and dance together. <laughs> After the drinks, Dr. Yoon asks Jong Min the truth about his parents, and Jong Min can't deny it since In Ho has revealed everything to them, while So Ra seems to feel sorry for treating Jong Sook like another resident doctor's. Soon after that, a man named Soong Woo came with his pregnant wife, Eon, who was about to give birth. Soong Woo asked Jong Sook to help with his wife's delivery because the hospital was too far from their village. Jong Sook was initially hesitant because none of the obstetricians participated in the volunteer event, but she also couldn't ignore patients who needed help. Jong Sook then tells Jong Min to gather their colleagues who don't drink alcohol while she tries to wake In Ho up. Once In Ho is somewhat sober, Jong Sook and two nurses accompany him to assist Eon's labor. But in the middle of the delivery, In Ho suddenly felt nauseous, so Jong Sook was forced to take over, and fortunately, the delivery went smoothly and Eon and her baby were healthy. Jong Sook looked so relieved and happy because she had never expected that she would be able to help a woman deliver her baby in such an unexpected situation. Shortly afterward, Jong Sook thanked Roy because he had offered her the opportunity to become a medical volunteer, and she also gained valuable experience as a doctor. On the other hand, Roy then revealed to Jong Sook that he had found out about In Ho's affair and tried to tell Jong Sook, but he refrained because he didn't want to get Jong Sook hurt. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook asked Roy not to think about her family problems or ask about her reasons for not wanting to make a careless decision regarding her marriage problems. Jong Sook added that she should also think about the happiness of her children, but Roy instead called Jong Jong Sook a pathetic woman for making her children as an excuse, when Jong Sook should have made a choice that could make her happy. The following day, Eun So told her mother that she had vented her anger and was trying to move on without a father in her life. Eun So advises Soong Hee to do the same, as Soong Hee will suffer even more if she continues to hope for In Ho. Soong Hee seems to think about her daughter's advice, and she decides to sell some of her assets because she intends to return to the United States with Eun So. On the other hand, the villagers give some of their harvest to Jong Sook and her colleagues as a token of gratitude for helping the villagers get free medical treatment. Eon also gave a handkerchief to Jong Sook as an expression of gratitude and wished Jong Sook happiness. Soon after that, Jong Sook went to Soong Hee at her office to tell her that she would be working in the family medicine department. Jong Sook adds that Soong Hee should not pay too much attention to the fact that she is in Ho's wife since everyone already knows the truth. Later that night, Soong Hee asks In Ho if he has any intention of divorcing Jong Sook. Upon hearing that, In Ho tells Soong Hee that in this case, Jong Sook is the victim, so he feels it's inappropriate to ask for a divorce from Jong Sook unless Jong Sook files for divorce first. Hearing this answer, Soong Hee then returns the diamond bracelet given by In Ho while asking In Ho to make a firm decision whether he will divorce Jong Sook or maintain his marriage with Jong Sook. At the hospital, Jong Min asks Roy about his relationship with his mother. Roy told Jong Min that it was a difficult question, but he later told Jong Min that they were just friends. On the other hand, A Sim seems interested in investing in the sanatorium project initiated by her close friend, Mr. Park. But she wants to discuss it with In Ho first, especially since the building that will be used as collateral to apply for a loan is established in Jong Sook's name. However, Mr. Park advises A Sim to keep the investment a secret as children will usually grumble if their parents invest with their wealth. While in the toilet, So Ra tells Jong Sook that she'll behave as usual even though she already knows that Jong Sook is Jong Min's mother. Jong Sook tells So Ra that she doesn't mind that at all, because she'll also act normally even though all their colleagues at the hospital already know that she's In Ho's wife. Shortly afterward, Jong Sook realizes that Roy is upset and thinks that she is the cause, so Jong Sook apologizes to Roy. However, Roy is evasive and tells Jong Sook that he should apologize to Jong Sook for interfering in her family problems. They then make up, and Jong Sook tells Roy that from now on, she will try to find her own happiness. While Roy, who has romantic feelings for Jong Sook, hopes that someday he will have the opportunity to be by Jong Sook's side for the rest of his life. After drinking, Jong Min and So Ra have a fight because So Ra feels offended by Jong Min's opinion about her. Jong Min tried to explain the misunderstanding, but So Ra chose to leave him. 
Meanwhile, Jung Sook drives a drunken Ho home, and she accidentally finds Soon He's diamond bracelet that fell out of In Ho's trouser pocket. Upon seeing that, Jung Sook becomes increasingly annoyed at In Ho and leaves even though her mother in law tries to persuade her to stay over because it's late. Instead of returning to the resident dormitory, Jung Sook decided to spend the night at her mother's house. Jung Sook then asks why her mother chose to keep her marriage even though her husband doesn't treat her well. Dok Ray told her daughter that she survived not because she loved her husband, but she survived for Jung Sook's sake. Dok Ray added that Jung Sook should also think about the happiness and the future of her children and defend her marriage with In Ho as much as possible. Jung Sook could only shed tears hearing the advice from her mother because she couldn't reveal to her mother about In Ho's affair. The following day, In Ho tried to make up with Jung Sook and gifted her a coffee machine. However, Jung Sook responded to him coldly because she still couldn't forgive In Ho for having an affair with Soon Hee. While at work, Jung Sook often gets reprimanded by Soon Hee who seems to deliberately corner her so that she doesn't feel at home working at the hospital. Meanwhile, Lee Rong and Eun So argued at the tutoring center and an upset Lee Rong pushed Eun So because Eun So deliberately confronted Lee Rong by saying bad things about her family. <laughs> Soon after that, Jung Sook who was about to go home, accidentally saw In Ho and Soon Hee who left together in a hurry. Jung Sook, who feels suspicious, decides to follow them to a hospital where Eun So has to undergo treatment after Lee Rong accidentally broke her wrist so that Eun So's hand has to be cast. In Ho looks shocked when Eun So tells him that Lee Rong pushed her and got her hurt. Concurrently, Jung Sook who is secretly following them overhears Eun So's conversation with her parents. And she becomes devastated and cries in frustration when she learns that In Ho not only cheated on Soon Hee, but they also have a daughter who is none other than Eun So. Shortly afterward, So Ra, who realized that Jung Sook was frantic and frustrated, then took her for a drive in her sports car. Because Jung Sook seemed to be having trouble breathing, So Ra then opened the car roof and sped her car at high speed to get some fresh air. So Ra also revealed to Jung Sook that she knew about In Ho and Soon Hee's affair because she had seen them at the hotel. At the same time, it suddenly rained and So Ra couldn't close her car roof so they got caught in the rain. However, Jung Sook was relieved, so she was finally able to laugh again and thank So Ra for comforting her. Upon arriving at the resident dormitory, So Ra then invited Jung Sook to have a drink together while telling her about her past when her father had an affair with another woman and her mother became depressed because of it. Before So Ra returns to her room, Jung Sook reveals to her that she already knows about So Ra dating Jung Min and approves of their relationship because she realizes that So Ra is actually a good girl. Meanwhile, Lee Rong comes to Mihi at her beauty clinic and decides to tell Mihi everything about her family's problems while crying in frustration because she's so worried about her mother. In the middle of the night, Jung Sook, who was still frustrated after learning that Inho had a daughter from his mistress, went to Inho's office with the coffee machine Inho had given him. Upon arrival, Jung Sook slammed the coffee machine to the ground, then threw the diamond bracelet Inho had given her because she no longer wanted to use it. The following day, Jung Sook confronts Inho and Soon Hee at once to confirm that Eun So is indeed Inho's biological daughter. Soon Hee immediately confirmed the fact, but Inho instead said that he would end his affair with Soon Hee. Upon hearing that, Jung Sook told them that she didn't care about them at all, as she only wanted to focus on finishing her residency at the hospital. In addition, Jung Sook also gave Soon Hee one month to resign from the hospital and work at another hospital. After confronting them all at once, Jung Sook then met In Ho personally in his office and vented her anger at In Ho for betraying her and hurting their children. <laughs> Unbeknownst to them, Roy had overheard their conversation from outside the room, and he had no idea that In Ho had a daughter from his affair with Soon Hee. Shortly afterward, Roy accidentally met Ji Seon who had given birth to a baby girl. Ji Seon looked happy as she told Roy about her baby, although it signaled that Ji Seon had no intention of undergoing treatment as she had decided to take care of her baby after being discharged from the hospital. Ji Seon then met her mother who was still upset with Ji Seon's decision as Mrs. Yu expected that Ji Seon would undergo treatment after giving birth. Ji Seon tries to persuade her mother to accept her baby and take care of her baby if she has passed away, but Mrs. Yu scolds Ji Seon and says that Ji Seon should stay alive so that she can take care of her daughter. On the other hand, Roy decides to register his DNA at the police station so that he can find his biological parents. 
Later that evening, Jong Sook picks up Yi Rong at the Art Academy and takes her daughter to dinner. Jong Sook then reveals to Yi Rong that she has found out about In Ho and Un So and apologizes to Yi Rong for making her suffered. Upon learning that, Yi Rong tries to comfort her mother by saying that she will always support Jong Sook and hopes that her mother can find her own happiness. On the other hand, Un So is frustrated that she can't take the entrance exam to the art faculty because Yi Rong injures her hand. Un So is upset that she always loses to Yi Rong, both in getting In Ho's attention and affection, and in achieving their dream of studying at the art school. Shortly afterwards, So Ra reveals to Jong Min that she coincidentally found out about In Ho and Soon He's affair. So Ra adds that she also accidentally found out that Jong Sook had found out about their affair. Jong Min looks shocked to hear that, especially after learning that his mother already knew about his father's affair with Soon He. Jong Min then asks So Ra not to think about his family problems and they decide to break up. At the same time, Jong Sook meets Mi Hee and tells her all her problems, while In Ho gets pressure from his family to make a decision as soon as possible. In Ho confirms to them that he won't divorce Jong Sook, while Mi Hee advises Jong Sook to make a decision that will make her happy. Mi Hee also adds that she will always support whatever Jong Sook decides as long as the decision makes Jong Sook happy. Shortly afterward, an upset Soon Yi then came to Jong Sook and vented her anger to Jong Sook because Jong Sook's daughter had hurt her daughter. Soon Yi did not even hesitate to tell Jong Sook to divorce from In Ho and blame Jong Sook for the suffering she experienced because Jong Sook snatched In Ho who used to be her lover. However, Jong Sook defends herself by telling Soon Yi that the bad things they've been experiencing lately are the result of their past sins, emphasizing that she's also suffering a lot, just like Soon Yi. Jong Sook then returned to her room and tried to sleep, but at the same time, there was a sudden short circuit in the resident dormitory that caused a fire. Royan and Ho who got information about the fire, then rushed to the resident dormitory to rescue Jong Sook who was still trapped in the room. Fortunately, Roy managed to arrive in time to rescue Jong Sook, but In Ho then told Roy to let him take Jong Sook so as not to arouse suspicion. Once outside the building, Jong Sook told In Ho to drop her off and told In Ho that Soon Yi had come to see her to vent her anger on her. Soon after that, Jong Sook gets a text message from Roy who volunteered to let the resident doctors stay at his house because the resident dormitory will be closed for three days. Jong Sook initially felt awkward about staying at Roy's house, but So Ra then invited Jong Sook to go together to Roy's house which was only a three-minute walk from the hospital. The following day, So Ra, who knew that Roy had romantic feelings for Jong Sook, then told him to approach Jong Sook, especially since Roy had also found out about In Ho's affair. However, Roy thinks that Jong Sook might forgive In Ho because she has goodness in her heart, although So Ra doubts that. At the hospital, Roy deliberately embarrasses In Ho in front of their colleagues and confronts In Ho about his affair. Their dispute even continues when they try to break up Dr. Lim and Dr. Yoon's fight over family issues, which leads to their own quarrel. While Roy and Ho bicker in the emergency department, Jong Min and Jong Sook visit Ji Son who is going home from the hospital that day. Ji Son, who has been preparing for her daughter's first birthday celebration, begs Jong Min to give her a pen that will be used in the celebration. Jong Min hesitantly gives the pen to Ji Son, even though it was a gift from In Ho. Jong Min tells his mother that the pen is no longer important and walks away. Soon after that, Jong Sook gets a phone call informing her that Roy and In Ho are fighting in the emergency department. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook rushes there and stops their fight. <laughs> Jong Sook then scolds Roy and In Ho for being careless and childish, which only further confirms the rumors of them being involved in a love triangle. A few days later, Jong Sook accidentally met Ji Son who was about to bring home her baby after undergoing intensive care at the hospital. At the same time, Ji Son suddenly winced due to stomach pain, so Jong Sook then told her to check her condition at the family medicine department polyclinic. Soon Yi then checked Ji Son's condition and suggested that Ji Son should be hospitalized to monitor her health condition more closely. Since Ji Son was previously a patient of the surgery department, Soon Yi's assistant calls Jong Min to check Ji Son's condition before deciding whether Ji Son should be hospitalized or allowed to go home. After consulting with a professor in the surgery department and explaining everything to Ji Son, Jong Min allowed Ji Son to go home, even though he had advised Ji Son to be hospitalized so that they could monitor Ji Son's condition. However, Ji Son insists on going home with her baby, and she advises Jong Min to rest as Jong Min seems unwell. On the other hand, Eun So decides to quit tutoring at the art academy because she's fed up with Yi Rong who also tutors there. Soon Yi finds out about it and becomes upset and confronts Jong Sook. Soon Yi also forces Jong Sook to divorce from In Ho immediately so that she can marry In Ho and build a full family for Eun So. 
Later that night, Jong Min was in a panic because Ji Seon suddenly collapsed unconscious, so her family immediately took her to the hospital. As Ji Seon's condition continued to deteriorate, Jong Min immediately asked Roy for help to operate on Ji Seon as soon as possible. But Roy then told Jong Min to warn Ji Seon's parents that Ji Seon's surgery might not go well, considering that Ji Seon had refused to undergo treatment because she insisted on giving birth to her baby. When Roy operated on Ji Seon, he discovered that Ji Seon had multiple primary cancers which worsened her health condition. Not only did she have colon cancer, Ji Seon was also diagnosed with stomach cancer, so Roy assumed that Ji Seon might not survive. Even so, Roy still tried to save Ji Seon's life, although in the end Ji Seon died due to severe complications from her cancer. Meanwhile, Enho decided to end his illicit relationship with Soong Hee and try to make up with his wife. Enho reasoned that Jong Sook had sacrificed a lot for him because Jong Sook not only had to take care of their children at a very young age, but Jong Sook also sincerely took care of Enho's father who was seriously ill at that time. Enho felt indebted to Jong Sook, so he chose to try as much as possible to maintain his marriage with Jong Sook. However, Soon Hee seemed unable to accept the decision, and she became frustrated that the man she loved all this time would rather live with another woman than build a new family with her and Eun So. At the hospital, Ji Seon's parents are shocked and devastated to learn that their daughter has passed away, while Jong Min feels guilty that he allowed Ji Seon to return home when Ji Seon's health condition was deteriorating. A frustrated Jong Min then leaves the hospital, and his whereabouts are unknown, and he can't even be contacted via mobile phone. Jong Sook tries to find Jong Min's whereabouts at home, but she only meets In Ho who has just come home and there's no one at home but them. Jong Sook then gets a phone call from Lee Rong's homeroom teacher who informs her about Lee Rong's test scores dropping drastically. She also tells Jong Sook that Lee Rong has been looking gloomy and lackluster lately. Upon hearing that, Jong Sook blames In Ho because their family problems have caused Lee Rong to lose focus in her studies and made her grades drop drastically. Soon after that, Jong Sook and Inho attend Ji Seon's funeral, where Mrs. Yu instantly becomes angry and cries in frustration while blaming Jong Min for her daughter's death. Mrs. Yu thinks that Jong Min has committed medical malpractice and intends to sue Jong Min and the hospital for Ji Seon's death. Jong Sook is unable to say anything and can only sit weakly while crying over Ji Seon's death which was probably caused by her son. On the other hand, So Ra tries to call Jong Min several times, but gets no answer until she finally finds Jong Min hiding in a game center. Returning from Ji Seon's funeral, Jong Sook explains to Enho that Ji Seon was a referral patient from her department and Jong Min was the doctor who checked Ji Seon's medical records before he decided to let Ji Seon go home from the hospital. As painful as it is, Jong Sook admits that Jong Min made a mistake because Jong Min should have done a thorough examination before deciding whether Ji Seon could go home or be hospitalized. Enho then tells Jong Sook that he will handle the matter to help Jong Min, even though he already knows that Soon he is Ji Seon's attending physician. Enho insists that he prefers to save his son, even if he has to deal with Soongi who is his mistress. Shortly afterward, Jong Sook gets a text message from So Ra informing him that she's found Jong Min. Jong Sook feels a little relieved and tells Enho to help Jong Min while she takes care of Yi Rong. At midnight, Jong Sook, who was still mourning Ji Seon's passing, decided to go back to the funeral home and pour out her grief for feeling so lost over Ji Seon's death as well as feeling guilty towards Ji Seon's parents. Jong Sook then tells Mrs. Yu that Ji Seon insisted on giving birth to her baby because she already knew that her life was not long. So she left her little angel to her parents so that her parents would not feel lost when it was time for her to leave them forever. Mrs. Yu then asked Jong Sook why she didn't try to ask her to forgive Jong Min, and Jong Sook replied that she didn't deserve to ask Mrs. Yu because Jong Min did something wrong. The following day, Jong Sook invites Lee Rong to hang out with her while advising Lee Rong to focus on studying for her own sake instead of proving her achievements to her father because it will only burden her. At the hospital, En Ho advises Jong Min as he recounts his experience as a resident doctor. At that time, En Ho was also faced with a difficult situation because he had to make a quick decision to save the lives of several patients. Due to his decision, En Ho managed to save the lives of some of the patients, while others died. En Ho tells Jong Min that every doctor will inevitably face situations where they have to make such decisions. But with time, they will gain experience that will enable them to save more lives in the future. Therefore, Jong Min should not hide and avoid the problem. Instead, Jong Min should be ready to face the problem, apologize and accept the consequences of the mistake as part of his experience of becoming a doctor. After receiving advice from his father, Jong Min then went to the funeral home to apologize to Ji Seon's parents and pay his last respects to Ji Seon. On the other hand, Dr. Lim informs Soongi that Ji Seon's parents intend to sue the hospital for their daughter's death. And Enho tries to protect Jong Min by making the family medicine department the responsible party for Ji Seon's death since Ji Seon was Soongi's patient. 
Dr. Lim advises Soon Hee to mount a defense if Soon Hee doesn't want her career ruined. Upon hearing that, Soon Hee goes straight to In Ho and warns In Ho not to involve her department as it was the surgery department that allowed Ji So to go home. However, and Ho reveals some facts that the family medicine department also had a hand in it, so Soon Hee becomes even angrier and yells at and Ho in front of many people. Unbeknownst to them, Roy was listening to their argument, so he decides to meet Ji Soon's parents and explain to them about Ji Soon's health condition in detail. At the funeral home, Mr. Yu tells Roy that Joan Min finally came and apologized to them while crying. However, they are reluctant to forgive Jong Min as it won't bring their daughter back to life. Roy then tries to explain to them about the cause of Ji Seon's death, but Mr. Yu refuses to listen to any explanation because it also can't change the fact that Ji Seon is gone. On the other hand, Do Gray, who realized that Jong Sook was having complicated problems in her family, then called A Sim to ask about it, but A Sim instead took her to a medical clinic to check her health condition. Surprisingly, the doctor told Do Gray that she had severe inflammation and her health condition was deteriorating drastically, so he suggested that Do Gray undergo treatment immediately. Soon after that, Jong Sook seems to be busy preparing everything for the death anniversary of her father in law who died a few years ago. A Simon and Ho then try to help her prepare the food, and they seem to have trouble doing so because all this time, Jong Sook has been doing everything by herself. Therefore, Jong Sook then taught them step by step while saying that preparing rituals for the deceased family must be done wholeheartedly. After performing the ritual and having dinner, A Sim told her family that they didn't have to perform the ritual in the future while revealing that she was in a romantic relationship with a man. Upon hearing that, An Ho and his family looked shocked as they had not expected A Sim to have a lover. Soon after that, Jong Sook tells Inho that she wants a divorce from him while revealing that she saw her disability sticker on Inho's car parked in the hospital's disability parking area. Jong Sook adds that she finally realized Inho's true nature and she doesn't fully blame Inho for their family problems. Even so, Jong Sook has made up her mind to divorce from Inho because she can no longer imagine living with Inho as husband and wife. Jong Sook also asks Inho to sincerely accept that their relationship is only as parents to Jong Min and Irong, and not as a married couple. Jong Sook then tells Inho that she has forgiven Inho as the father of her children, but she can no longer see Inho as her husband because Inho no longer matters in her life. Upon hearing that, Inho couldn't say a word because he was too shocked to the point that he had a nosebleed and collapsed unconscious. Jong Sook initially thought that Inho was just pretending, but since Inho didn't wake up even though she had tried to wake him up, Jong Sook then became panicked and intended to pour water on Inho's face. Soon after that, Inho, who had woken up, approached Jong Sook and knelt down while begging Jong Sook for forgiveness because he didn't want Want a divorce from Jong Sook. However, Jong Sook told Inho that her decision to divorce was firm and she wouldn't change her mind even if Inho knelt down to beg for her forgiveness. At the same time, A Sim and the others suddenly entered the room and A Sim looked so shocked when she heard that Jong Sook asked for a divorce from Inho. A Sim tried to persuade Jong Sook to change her mind and reconcile with Inho, but Jong Sook refused because she was already determined to file for divorce from Inho. A Sim then told Inho to end his relationship with Soong Hee and give child support to Eun So. Inho told his mother that he had tried to give Soong Hee child support, but Soong Hee refused. Upon hearing that, A Sim doesn't seem too surprised since Soong Hee comes from a rich family, but Inho tells her that Soong Hee was ostracized by her family since giving birth to Eun So. A Sim seems a little sympathetic to Soong Hee, but she then becomes shocked to learn that Soong Hee might inherit a hundred billion won since her father just passed away. Jong Sook, on the other hand, is seen discussing her divorce with Jong Min and Yi Rong, and apologizing to them that she decided to divorce their father. However, Jong Min and Yi Rong understand that and support whatever Jong Sook decides as long as Jong Sook is relieved and happy with the decision. The following day, the hospital director informed In Ho that Ji Seon's parents had cancelled their intention to sue Jong Min and the hospital. Dr. Yoon adds that Roy managed to persuade them and tells In Ho to thank Roy for settling the matter. On the other hand, Roy met Jong Sook to deliver a message from Mrs. Yu who finally let go of Ji Seon and forgave Jong Min. After Roy explains to them about the cause of Ji Seon's death, they finally understand that Ji Seon is no longer possible to save because her condition is so bad. When Jong Min came to the funeral home to pay his last respects to Ji Seon, Mrs. Yu told him that Ji Seon's death was not his fault. However, Jong Min still felt so guilty that he repeatedly apologized to them until they finally forgave him. Upon learning that, Jong Sook couldn't stem her tears because Mrs. Yu finally forgave Jong Min. Jong Sook also thanked Roy for trying hard to explain Ji Seon's health condition to her parents, which indirectly helped Jong Min. Meanwhile, In Ho tells Soong Yi that Jong Sook wants a divorce from him, but In Ho insists that he doesn't want to divorce Jong Sook. Upon hearing that, Soong Yi also insists that she won't end their relationship and will keep waiting for In Ho. Soon after that, Soong Yi went to Roy at his office to thank him for persuading Ji Seon's parents not to sue the hospital. 
On the other hand, Jong Min's colleagues seemed relieved that Ji Seon's parents had cancelled their intention to sue the hospital, but Jong Min seemed unhappy because after all, he had made a mistake that indirectly caused Ji Seon to die. Therefore, Jong Min could not forgive himself for Ji Seon's death. Some time later, Roy came to the police station to register his DNA in order to find his biological parents. However, the policewoman on duty there warns Roy not to get his hopes up as not everyone registers their DNA voluntarily to find their missing family. While Jung Sook is doing her job as a resident doctor happily, Dok Rae decides to quit her job, even though she only works for two days a week. Dok Rae is forced to quit her job because her health condition is getting worse by the day and she intends to undergo treatment as soon as possible. Dok Rae then calls Jung Sook and tells her that she has stopped working as a care worker. Jung Sook seems relieved to hear that, but on the other hand, she worries about her mother and assumes that her mother might be sick. Later that night, Jung Sook visits her mother who seems to be in pain and has difficulty moving. Dok Rae argued that she had taken painkillers and tried to convince Jung Sook that she would recover soon. However, Jung Sook insists that Dok Rae should check her condition at the hospital so that she can undergo proper treatment. The following days, Jung Sook became increasingly anxious as several doctors who had examined her mother's condition explained different diagnosis results, making it difficult for them to determine what disease Dok Rae was suffering from. Shortly afterward, Jung Sook receives a bouquet of flowers from Inho as well as a letter indicating that Inho has shared the ownership of the house with Jung Sook. Even so, Jung Sook seems unhappy and immediately returns the gift to Inho while emphasizing to Inho that it's too late for him to fix their marriage. At the same time, a Sim visits Dok Rae while bringing delicious cakes, and as she's about to leave, she accidentally runs into Soong Hee and is reminded that Soong Hee has an inheritance worth 100 billion won. a Sim then tells Inho to give a lot of money to Dok Rae to show his concern as well as take his mother-in-law to dinner at a fancy restaurant to please her. Concurrently, Jong Sook seems surprised to learn that the doctor who will treat her mother is Soong Hee. On the other hand, Soong Hee was also surprised because she had no idea that Dok Rae was Jong Sook's mother. Jung Sook then reveals to Dok Rae that Soong Hee used to be Inho's lover in college, so she feels uncomfortable if her mother becomes Soong Hee's patient. Jung Sook also went to Soong Hee and told her to change the doctor who would treat her mother because Jung Sook thought that Soong Hee was deliberately doing that to upset her. However, Soong Hee refused to do so because she was committed to treating Dok Rae, and she also didn't mind that Dok Rae was Jung Sook's mother. At the hospital, Dok Rae accidentally meets Roy and thanks him for saving her daughter's life. They then have a brief conversation before Inho suddenly appears and tells Dok Rae that he will invite Dok Rae to a family dinner at a fancy restaurant. At the restaurant, Inho and Jong Sook pretend to get along to hide their family problems from Dok Rae. Inho even treats Dok Rae so well that his mother-in-law doesn't suspect that her daughter is facing a crisis in her marriage. On the other hand, a Sim accidentally meets Mr. Park who is having dinner with a woman. a Sim then got into an argument with the woman because she felt very jealous, but at the same time, the woman revealed to Dok Rae about Inho who had cheated on Jong Sook and had a daughter from the woman who was his mistress. Unexpectedly, Soong Hee and Eun So were also at the restaurant for dinner, but Inho immediately told them to leave so that the situation wouldn't be complicated by their presence. Worried about Dok Rae's health, Soong Hee invites Eun So to have dinner elsewhere, but Eun So wants to eat spicy snacks on the side of the road instead. Eun So then asked her mother why she was still dating Inho when Inho clearly had no intention of divorcing his wife and marrying Soong Hee. Therefore, Eun So suggested to her mother that they return to the United States and start a new life without Inho in their lives. Upon arriving home, Dok Rae immediately scolded Inho and returned all the expensive gifts A Sim had given to her. Dok Rae had been suspicious from the start because A Sim was suddenly nice to her even though A Sim had always underestimated Jong Sook because she came from a poor family. Dok Rae also scolded Jong Sook because Jong Sook kept all her problems to herself, even though she had just survived death and her health condition had not fully recovered. Dok Rae had then told Inho to sincerely beg for her daughter's forgiveness and would support whatever Jong Sook's decision regarding the problems in their marriage as long as the decision made Jung Sook happy. Soon after that, Jung Sook took Dok Rae back to the hospital for treatment. Jung Sook intends to meet Soong Hee to discuss her mother's health condition. But Jung Sook accidentally finds a medical journal about her mother's illness on Soong Hee's computer, which indicates that Soong Hee really cares about her mother and tries to cure her. After undergoing treatment, Dok Rae packed up her belongings and intended to move to another hospital because she didn't want Soong Hee to treat her. But Jung Sook managed to persuade her mother to stay and be treated at Gusan University Hospital because the hospital is one of the best hospitals in South Korea and is also the hospital where she works as a doctor. 
On the other hand, Sunyi is surprised by Yi-Rong who suddenly comes to her office to apologize for injuring eun -so's hand. Yi-Rong tells Sunyi that she will also apologize to eun -so, but before that, she wants to ask Sunyi for a favor. Yi-Rong then asks Sunyi to end her romantic relationship with her father because she doesn't want to lose in Ho. Yi-Rong also begs Sunyi to heal her grandmother and in return, she won't apply to art school. Later that night, Yi-Rong and Jong min prepare a surprise for Dok Rae by buying a cake and expensive items because Dok Rae once told Yi-Rong that she wanted to have a bag and coat like Audrey Hepburn wore. Dok Rae didn't expect Yi-Rong to still remember her words clearly because Yi-Rong wasn't even in elementary school at the time. Dok Rae seems so happy that she has a daughter and grandchildren who care and love her so much, so that she doesn't think much about her illness. Unbeknownst to them, Inho sees their moment of togetherness and becomes moved, so he decides not to disturb their happy moment. Some time later, Sunyi contacts her pros for acquaintance in the United States via video call to discuss Dok Rae's illness. After studying Dok Rae's examination results, Sunyi concludes that Dok Rae has rheumatic polymyalgia and advises Jong Sook to keep Dok Rae in the hospital. Sunyi also told Jong Sook to take care of her health because Jong Sook looked pale and lethargic. A few days later, Dok Rae's health condition improved after receiving treatment from Sunyi and Dok Rae could return home if her condition had fully recovered. Jong Sook then thanks Soon-Yi for healing her mother, however, Jong Sook insists that she hasn't forgiven Soon-Yi for her affair with In-Ho. Soon-Yi then tells Jong Sook that Iran came to see her to apologize for hurting eun -so, and in return, Iran won't be applying to the art faculty. Soon-Yi says that Iran doesn't need to feel guilty about the incident that hurt eun -so, and Iran also doesn't need to abandon her dream of studying at the art school. Soon-Yi tells Jong Sook that their problems have made Iran and eun -so suffer, so she wants to find the best solution for their children. Soon after that, Jong Sook went to Inho at his office to submit a divorce application form to Inho, because Jong Sook wanted to get a divorce without having to undergo a court hearing. However, Inho instead told her to file for divorce in court and asserted that he would try to stop the divorce even though it would drain his entire fortune. The following day, Jong Sook actually filed for divorce against Inho and the court had sent the documents related to their divorce suit. Inho immediately asked Jong Sook about the divorce, and Inho assumed that Jong Sook wanted a divorce from him so badly because Jong Sook had fallen in love with Roy. On the other hand, Roy got a call from the police station informing him that they had managed to find his biological parents. Roy seemed happy to hear that, and he then asked Jong Sook to accompany him to meet his family at the police station. Meanwhile, Jong Min was planning to enlist in the army, but the hospital administration staff suggested that Jong Min complete his residency first. Jong Min also expressed his intention to So Ra who was upset that Jong Min would leave her. However, Jong Min asks her to wait for him to return and not to look at other men, so they make up and So Ra hugs him. On the other hand, Dok Rae meets Soon Hee to thank her for healing her. Before leaving, Dok Rae gives an envelope to Soon Hee and saying that the envelope doesn't contain money. The envelope turned out to be a letter and in the letter Dok Rae told Soon Hee that she would live a better life after recovering from her illness and asked Soon Hee not to waste the opportunity to be a better person and mother in the future. Dok Rae also hopes that Soon Hee can find her true happiness and live with honor. The next day, Roy met his family at the police station and found out that his mother had passed away. On the other hand, his older sister told Roy that the reason they were looking for Roy was because their father had acute leukemia and needed a bone marrow donor. They hoped that Roy would be willing to donate his spinal cord to their father to save his life. Upon knowing that the family meeting was not going well, Jong Sook then invited Roy to run together to the hospital to cheer Roy up. Upon arriving at the hospital, Jong Sook was told by her colleagues that she was honored as the best resident doctor for her hard work and dedication while working at the hospital. But unexpectedly, Jong Sook suddenly felt dizzy and coughed up blood. <laughs> Jong Sook immediately checked her health condition with Roy, and Roy suggested that Jong Sook might have acute liver failure or rejection of a previous liver transplant so Jong Sook had to undergo intensive treatment at the hospital. However, because she still had to finish her work and take care of some things, Jong Sook was forced to delay her treatment. Upon learning that, Roy advised Jong Sook not to delay too long or push herself too hard to work because her health condition would getting worse drastically. On the other hand, Roy was approached by his sister who told Roy to immediately donate his spinal cord to save their father's 
life. Soon after that, Roy asked Sora to prepare some liver function tests for the liver transplant surgery procedure because he was going to do a thorough medical examination. Sora wondered if Roy would do a liver transplant, but Roy didn't explain his reasons in detail so Sora chose not to make too much of it. Meanwhile, Asim got a phone call from the police station informing her that Mr. Park had committed a planned fraud and Asim was one of the victims. Not only did she lose the hundreds of millions of one that she had invested in Mr. Park, Asim also had to swallow her disappointment as Mr. Park ended their relationship and preferred to be in a relationship with another woman. Asim then took Inho to a divorce lawyer to consult about the division of assets after their divorce. At that moment, Asim accidentally reveals to Inho that she owns a building using Jong Sok's name as the rightful owner because she wants to avoid taxes. And Ho looks shocked to hear that, especially after the lawyer tells them that Asim could be imprisoned for five years or fined 200 million won because she deliberately used Jong Sok to avoid taxes. And Ho becomes even angrier when he learns that Asim fell victim to an investment scam and took out a 300 million won loan using Jong Sok's name as the building owner. Asim intends to sell the building to repay the loan to the bank and tells and Ho to explain everything to Jong Sok. Later that evening, and Ho went to Jong Sok to explain about the problems his mother was facing. But Jong Sok refused to sell the building and insisted that she would claim whatever was registered as hers even if she had no contribution in the purchase of the asset. Jong Sok then told Inho to sell his house to repay the loan to the bank and told him to move to a smaller house or to the suburbs if Inho wanted to get a bigger house at a cheaper price. On the other hand, Dok Rae is surprised by the appearance of a drunk Asim in front of her apartment. Since Asim was too drunk and she couldn't drive her home, Dok Rae let her stay at her apartment. <laughs> The following day, Asim told Dok Rae that her life had become more difficult since Jong Sok left home because she had always depended on Jong Sok. Asim hopes Dok Rae can persuade Jong Sok to reconcile with An Ho, but Dok Rae insists that she only wants her daughter to have her happiness, even if it means Jong Sok has to divorce from An Ho. The following days, Jong Sok treats Mrs. Lee, a patient over a hundred years old whose health condition is deteriorating day by day. While Jong Sok tried to cure Mrs. Lee, her family told Jong Sok to let Mrs. Lee pass away because they thought that Mrs. Lee had lived too long and the whole family felt relieved if Mrs. Lee finally passed away. Soon after that, Jong Sok went to Dr. Lim at his office to apply for leave and revealed that her health condition was worsening. Because the liver that was transplanted to her was not functioning properly so she had to return to intensive care at the hospital. Upon learning that, Dr. Lim then discussed it with Soong Hee and the other doctors to decide whether they would accept Jong Sok back if she recovered or ask her to resign. On the other hand, Roy told Jong Sok that he intended to donate his liver to Jong Sok, and he had also run a series of tests to ensure that he was a compatible donor for Jong Sok. Upon hearing that, Jong Sok looked surprised because donating organs to others was not something that could be done casually, especially since Roy was not her family. However, Roy insists that Jong Sok is a very meaningful friend and co-worker in his life, so he will do whatever it takes to save Jong Sok's life. In the evening, Jong Sok packed up her belongings because she had taken time off to undergo treatment at the hospital. Jong Sok accidentally bumped into Inho in the car park, and Inho seemed to be upset about his mother's debt, so they got into a brief argument and he blamed Jong Sok. Inho then met Soong Hee to borrow money to pay off his mother's debt, but Soong Hee instead told him about Jong Sok's deteriorating health condition and the possibility that Jong Sok would have to undergo a second liver transplant surgery. Meanwhile, Jong Sok made dinner for her family, and after dinner, Jong Sok revealed to them about her health condition as well as about her having to go back to the hospital. Her family seemed shocked to hear that, but Jong Sok assured them that she would recover soon and told them to think of good things while she was undergoing treatment at the hospital. On the other hand, Soong Hee tells Inho that Jong Sok's health condition has worsened because the two of them have made Jong Sok suffer by committing despicable acts. Upon hearing that, Inho looks devastated and feels very guilty because all this time he never considered Jong Sok as someone valuable in his life, but now he is so afraid of losing Jong Sok. And Ho then remembers the moments when Jong Sok seemed so happy with the little attention and gifts he gave her, and he then regrets that for more than 20 years of marriage, he never tried to make Jong Sok happy. The next day, and Ho went to Roy at his office and told him that he would donate his liver to Jong Sok. Shortly afterward, and Ho meets Jong Sok and tells her that he will donate his liver to Jong Sok, but Jong Sok thinks that and Ho is doing that so that Jong Sok will sell a Sims building. Jong Sok then reveals that she has contacted a real estate agent to sell the building and has included In Ho's phone number so that In Ho can negotiate with the potential buyer. However, In Ho insists that he will donate his liver to save Jong Sok's life because he doesn't want to lose Jong Sok who is the mother of his children. And Ho then kneels down and begs Jong Sok to give him a chance to make amends, but Jong Sok says that she won't blame anyone else, including In Ho, for her deteriorating health condition. 
Soon after that, Soon Yi met Jung Sook to apologize to her, hoping that Jung Sook could recover soon and return to work at the hospital. Jung Sook didn't expect Soon Yi to apologize to her at all. Jung Sook then praises Soon Yi for being kind and not arrogant when they first met at medical school and wonders if they might have been good friends if they hadn't gotten into a complicated relationship. Before leaving, Jung Sook tells Soon Yi that she wants to live a peaceful life and hopes Soon Yi will do the same. On the other hand, In Ho is very surprised to learn that Roy has undergone several medical tests and is potentially a compatible donor for Jung Sook. In Ho then rushes to Roy to demand an explanation about it, but they get into an argument until Jung Sook finally arrives to stop them. Roy and In Ho then ask Jung Sook to decide who is more suitable to be a donor for her, but Jung Sook instead points to a motorbike and asks Roy to take her for a ride. The following days, Soon Yi decides to take over her late father's hospital because it meant a lot to her father and Soon Yi doesn't want to sell it. On the other hand, Roy explains to Jung Sook that the treatment Jung Sook is undergoing is not very effective to cure her, so he strongly recommends that Jung Sook immediately undergo liver transplant surgery. Roy tried to convince Jung Sook to accept his liver because his compatibility with Jung Sook was quite high. However, Jung Sook didn't want to make others suffer because of him, so Jung Sook immediately refused Roy politely. Jung Sook then asked Roy for permission permission so that she could leave for a while because there were some things she had to do. After getting permission from Roy, Jung Sook then met Mihi and poured out all her feelings to her best friend who had always supported her to get her happiness. Jung Sook told Mihi that her mother blamed herself for her poor health condition, even Dok Rae didn't come to the hospital because she couldn't stem the sadness of seeing Jung Sook suffering from her illness. Shortly afterward, Jung Sook came to In Ho's house to pack up her belongings. Jung Sook also cleaned the house and prepared food for her family, then wrote letters to Jung Min and Yi Rong. Later that evening, Yi Rong and the others seemed surprised to find Jung Sook cleaning up the house, but Jung Sook said that she would be returning to the hospital soon. Jung Sook then delivers Soon Yi's message to Yi Rong and asks Yi Rong not to worry about her too much. Jung Sook also told Yi Rong to focus on achieving her dreams and finding her happiness. Soon after that, Jung Sook said goodbye to A Sim who was still trying to persuade Jung Sook to reconcile with Inho. Ho. However, Jung Sook only responded by apologizing to A Sim because she couldn't be a good daughter-in-law until the end. When Jung Sook was about to go to the hospital, and Ho took the initiative to drive her because he wanted to discuss something important with Jung Sook. And Ho told Jung Sook that he wouldn't sell the building because it belonged to Jung Sook. In addition, and Ho also handed Jung Sook the divorce documents that he had signed, saying that he would divorce Jung Sook as well as donate his liver to Jung Sook to make up for his mistake that had made Jung Sook suffer. And Ho said that he was really afraid of losing Jung Sook, and even if they were divorced, and Ho hoped that he could still see Jung Sook occasionally because Jung Sook was the mother of his children. The following day, Soon Yi tells In Ho that she has resigned from the hospital as she will be managing her father's hospital. In Ho seems happy to hear that, and wishes Soon Yi all the best in the future since they've decided to end their relationship. Soon Yi also wishes In Ho and Jung so good health and happiness even though they have decided to divorce. On the other hand, Jung Sook accidentally met Eun So at the hospital because it was Soon Hee's last day working at the hospital. Jung Sook tells Eun So that Eun So is not the cause of their family problems and tells her to stop blaming herself. Jung Sook also tells Eun So to live her life happily from now on and do the things she wants without thinking about others. Upon hearing that, Eun So was visibly touched and could not stem her tears because Jung Sook still cared about her even though she and her mother had hurt Jung Sook and her family. After undergoing liver transplant surgery and having fully recovered, Jung Sook is seen attending a divorce hearing with Inho where the judge then decides that they are officially divorced. After the hearing, Inho invited Jung Sook to have lunch together. During lunch, they were seen reminiscing about the past when they were still a married couple, and Jung Sook then congratulated Inho for being appointed as the new director of the hospital. Jung Sook seems so happy with Inho's achievement, but Inho doesn't seem too happy because he has divorced Jung Sook. After lunch, and Ho thanked Jung Sook for all of Jung Sook's sacrifices and dedication while she was his wife, while apologizing to Jung Sook that he had disappointed her and never made her happy. However, Jung Sook told Inho that she also experienced beautiful and fun things while married to Inho, and she would never forget that for the rest of her life. Before parting, Jung Sook invited Inho to shake hands and wished Inho happiness. On the other hand, Inho also wished Jung Sook good health and happiness with her new life as a doctor and an independent woman. The following days, Inho, who had become the director of the hospital, entered his new office and wished that Jung Sook and his children would come to the office to congratulate him and tell him that they were very proud of him. However, it's all just wishful thinking, because now Inho no longer has an intact family and he can only lament about it. Meanwhile, Yi Rong accidentally runs into Eun So at the bookstore where she apologizes to Eun So for hurting her. However, Eun So doesn't seem to mind it anymore and instead congratulates Yi Rong for successfully passing the initial batch of entrance exams. Eun So tells Yi Rong that she'll be taking the final round of entrance exams, and if she doesn't pass, she intends to study abroad. 
Moon So finally admits that she approached Yi Rong on purpose because Yi Rong is her stepsister and intends to destroy Yi Rong's family. Yi Rong looks shocked to hear that, but she then tells Eun So that her parents are divorced. Upon hearing that, Eun So asks In Ho about In Ho and her mother's relationship, but In Ho tells her that they decided to separate amicably. Even so, In Ho tells Eun So that he will try to be a good father to Eun So. However, Eun So hopes that In Ho will try to keep Soon Hee and not let her go. Upon arriving home, Eun So tells her mother that In Ho is divorced, but Soon Hee seems to have expected it and seems to take it in stride. The next day, and Ho accidentally runs into Sunyi who is visiting Gusan University Hospital to discuss the cooperation between Gusan University Hospital and her hospital. At that moment, and Ho told Sunyi that he had divorced Jung Sok, and Sunyi said that she was the cause of their divorce. On the other hand, Roy finally expressed his feelings to Jung Sok, and Jung Sok thanked Roy for his sincerity and kindness. However, Jung Sok could not accept Roy's love because she could not imagine herself in a romantic relationship with Roy who was much younger than her. Jung Sok then told Roy to find his happiness and hoped that someday Roy would find his true love. Three years later, So Ra was seen entering a pharmacy to buy a pregnancy test, as she was worried that she was pregnant. On the other hand, Jung Sok successfully passed the motorbike driving exam because Jung Sok had always dreamed of riding a motorbike like Roy. In addition, Jung Sok has also completed her residency at Gusan University Hospital and received a certificate as a specialist doctor. Jung Sok then used the building given by Anho to set up a restaurant that provides healthy food, as well as setting up her own clinic located above the restaurant. On the other hand, Dok Ray began to pursue her hobby of taking care of plants and was grateful for everything until she no longer hated Inho and his mother. Meanwhile, Inho starts volunteering to help Soongi by operating on her patients. Although it was tiring, Inho did it sincerely because he wanted to do a noble deed to atone for his sins. The following days, Jung Sok gets a phone call from Mihi who informs her about Roy who is dating a woman. However, Jung Sok did not seem surprised to hear that because Roy had already told her about the woman when she had a routine checkup a few months ago. Despite being a specialist doctor and having her own clinic, Jung Sok always took the time to become a medical volunteer and went to remote villages to treat sick people for free. Jung Sok also gets help from Inho, Jung Min and So Ra when she visits a village to provide house to house healthcare. At the same time, So Ra discusses her relationship with Jung Min and wonders if they have children. So Ra also reveals to Jung Min that she took a pregnancy test some time ago, but the result was negative. Jung Min looks shocked to hear that and is unable to say anything, so So Ra assumes that Jung Min is unhappy if she's getting pregnant someday. But surprisingly, Jung Min says that he's too happy at the thought of them having a child that he can't say anything. Soon after that, Jung Sok prepares to start her journey to another remote location by boat. Before leaving, Jung Sok says goodbye to An Ho, Jung Min and So Ra and asks them to call her regularly. The drama ends by showing Jung Sok embarking on a journey to provide medical services to sick people for free and voluntarily, which also signifies that she has started a new journey in life, which is much better and meaningful than before. The moral that we can learn from this drama is to never stop trying to realize our dreams because it is never too late to start a new life and start walking the path to achieve our dreams. In addition, endeavor to forgive others whatever their mistakes because forgiveness is not for them, but for ourselves. So that we are not trapped in the past and have the courage and determination to move forward and start a new, better and meaningful life.